The NBA is already cooking up a way to submarine one and done. They're already cooking up a way so that kids don't go to college right from high school for one year if they've got NBA aspirations and can get drafted. And the NBA reportedly is going to deliver this plan sometime in the next four to six weeks, which means this upcoming college basketball season, beginning in October, November, might be the last of the guys that can go one and done. Now, that doesn't mean we won't have some stars that go to college basketball for multiple years. That doesn't mean there won't be some kids that go to college to grow, to have a spurt, to develop, and become stars. But the kids that go from high school to college just simply as a bridge year, this upcoming basketball season might be the last of its kind. And Zion, in subsequent years, will no longer be the guy that goes to college. If this goes through with the NBA, maybe they stash these kids in the G League. Could you imagine Zion Williamson in the G, in the G League? The type of attention the G League would get? And that's why the NBA also kind of wants this that way. Well, now there's G League games that people need to watch on televised national platforms. He could be the last because he's what everybody wants to see next year. And he's got a one year at Duke, and then he is leaving for the NBA. Will his game translate to the NBA? I don't know. I mean, he's remarkably explosive. He's ridiculously athletic. He's bonkers destructive when it comes to dunking. Does it translate to an all-around game? We've seen guys that win dunk contests that can't play in the NBA, a la Harold Miner. But in terms of the show, oh, there's not a better show right now than Zion. There's not a better show.